so I have maybe the worst memory of all time. So before I forget, I just want to be like, I want to, I want to do this now. <laughs> so, um, I, you know, this game, this game's great. I love it. Um, I think that it, it's, it's probably got mixed reviews mainly because people are probably comparing it to Final Fantasy Tactics and Fire Emblem. And in Fire Fa Final Fantasy Tactics, the AI was brilliant. They never attacked their own teammate, they never did damage to themselves or their own teammate unless they could hit two of your people. So they would they'd weigh the risk reward. Um, they healed each other very well, they fought very well, they would only retreat, you know, back to get healed or to fire from long range. The game was tough, and the AI was very smart, and they did their best to avoid everything you did. Like, it was, there were some tricks that you could do to kind of confuse the AI, but Otherwise, they did really well. Fire Emblem, uh, by the time they got to 6, they had the AI on lockdown at that point. Like, they knew what to do with the AI. Um, there were still a couple of things you could do to trip up the AI, but for the most part, the AI would focus on whoever's injured and go right after them, and they'd focus on whoever couldn't attack back, um, you know, and, and they would gauge how well your unit could resist something and then go after them. What is Ryan Berta doing? I feel like I should listen to this. This sounds great when my headset's off. I mean, I'm sad. I'm sad. It's going over stuff. Alright, well. Enjoy that. I'm gonna talk over it just, just because I'm, that's me. Um, potentially there's awesome music happening. I don't know. I'm, I'm sad about this. Uh, anyway. Like, the AI of this game is, is very silly. They do a lot of weird things. Um, I'm not sure if that's going to change later on, because it, it might. It really might. Uh, we've seen some improvements with the AI as we move to floor two. So maybe as we continue going, the AI will improve by a lot. So we'll see if they do or not. Um, I don't know. I, I don't... I don't know. I don't know. Um... I think that's why there might be mixed reviews, is because the AI in this game is very, very silly. Um, but, I mean, this is, you have to understand that this is made by an indie developer, too. So there needs to be like a little asterisk whenever you make comparisons, because it's like, this is an indie developer. They don't have the money of, of Square, which is what I think the one was, I don't think they were Square Enix yet, I think they were just Square when they, uh, when they made Final Fantasy Tactics, and they were on fire during the PlayStation 2 era. They were making great game after great game after great game. They were hitting home runs on everything. Um, in Fire Emblem, I'm not sure if Nintendo, I don't know how much Nintendo, if, if they put any money in, or like, I don't know how much they put in, if any, um, but they the, the company that was doing it, like Fire Emblem had been a success. So they already had a lot of money going into like six and seven and, eight and further on. Um, this game doesn't, like, this game doesn't have sacks of gold behind it. It's, it is an indie game, so you can't, uh, I don't think it's very a fair comparison to really go at it and be like, this game sucks compared to Final Fantasy Tactics, because obviously they don't have the experience or the money, so, that the other companies had, so, I don't know. I give them a little bit of leeway with that. Stop it, kitten. Uh, yeah. I don't, I don't remember what else I was going to say. God dang it. Oh well. Um, we'll continue this later. I actually don't want to record right now. I just wanted to get that out of the way before I forgot. And I already forgot some stuff because I'm really good. Oh, this game is uh, $10 on Steam, I think. Uh, Fi Final Fantasy Tactics was $10 on the PlayStation 3. I don't know if it's still being sold on the PlayStation Store because it seems that they took down a lot of titles to later put them up on PlayStation Now, which is kind of stupid. Um, so it matched the price of that, but obviously Tactics is a very old game. Uh, um, I got this on, on holiday sale for $6, and I've been enjoying it. I think it was a great value proposition. <sighs> so that's that. Alright, I'll be back later. Let's continue. My camp is set up. 14, 15, 12, 12, okay. Just making sure everyone is ready for the fight. 
Are you, you have magic up? Maybe I should put that on. Uh, speed up, get the frig out. You're worthless to me. I don't even know what you do. Uh, oh. Oops. Yeah, we arranged in a way I like better. <laughs> Cotton, do you want vitality up? Mmm. Mmm. I'll ask for play speed up with it. Yeah. <laughs> Risky thrust. Let's replace speed up with that. Oh wait, vitality up now you have enough HP. Your HP is huge. You've got way too much HP. Uh, uh what else is there here? There's a lot of crap here. You know way too much abilities. Way too many abilities. Effie! I'm proud of you. What about you? What do you know? Oh my god, you know a lot. You definitely need magic up. Oh no, not over luck up though. Oh, I love luck up. I don't even know what it does, but I love it. Uh, Aqua shield is stupid. Have cold sleep. I don't do, I don't do defense. I'm all about that attack. Save count, 66, because I save often. Vastitus, Vastitus, four. Area four. Oh god. Three priestesses, two mages, a class I've never seen, the unicorn girl. Oh no. The sorceress, as she would be called. What abilities does she have? Passion, darkness, increases physical magic attack, which, okay. Okay. She doesn't actually seem that powerful. She doesn't really have any abilities. Alright. Priest is level 9, Mage level 11, Knight level 12, Mage level 10, Priestess level 10, Priestess level 9, Knight level 12. This is actually looking like a really easy fight. None of these guys look particularly powerful. I'm gonna have them come to me so that I can preserve my AP. Hey Marokia, I noticed that you're really far away from us. Come around the corner here and rejoin the party. I think that'd be a good idea. And the enemy's slowly moving up. I'm ready for them. My, uh... How I play this is rather weird, like how I speak. Because in Final Fantasy Tactics, I kind of just bullshitted the whole time. In this, I'm like, alright, this person's attack, I'm giving the play-by-play. -play. It's, uh... It's interesting. Do we still want to let them come to us? I think so. Uh, I'll action and raise attack here. That's for sure. Defense is worthless here, because there's only two physical attackers, so no point in that. Hey, Marokia's back. She's rejoined us. Hello, team. Oh, right. Anyone else have any abilities? I don't believe so. No. Uh, turn end. Priestess moves up. Knight moves up. They're just coming after us. Their mage is attacking Marokia with Water Spear. Ah, she missed. You dummy. The sorceress is moving up. Their priestess is attacking two of my characters with Saint Arrow. She hit Happy for 60. She hit my Lancer for 19. Happy passively heals 430. Losers. Doesn't it suck that Happy passively heals? Bet that ruins your day. Oh, Risky Thrust is uh, just is it's more powerful than uh, my other abilities. And it's two areas. Yeah. Although my Piercing Strike is level 5, so it actually does uh, extra damage, which is great. Alright, my Knight. Well, let's see what Cotton's gonna do. Oh, Cotton can go behind. Yeah. Yeah, Cotton. Oh, but my Knight's almost leveled up. She doesn't need the kill. She won't gain uh, anything from it. Let me see the damage here. No, she's gonna hit too hard. I'm not gonna have my Knight do it. Instead, I'm gonna hit Affy from behind. Haha! -ha, level up! For like 49 of Affy's HP. Affy's almost leveled up too, like she doesn't need this kill either, but yeah, she's gonna get it. Killed her for a- uh, hit her for 80 and she's dead. 
She's deader than dead. Marokia, I forgot to put on what you needed, which was, uh, I needed to put on to her, uh, cold sleep, because she needs to actually have some damage potential, and, because I'm tired of her not. I'm gonna cure Affy then, 131. Affy should be back at max HP. They're mage, going for water spear on Lancer, hit for 76, their knight's moving up. Let's just wait for everyone to get here. Their summoner put darkness on it and missed. The other mage is attacking my lancer with thunder spear. She missed. Priestess moves up right up in front of us, which means I'm just gonna knock her out. Uh, I'm gonna send Affy out after the uh, sorceress, cause screw her. Also, she has a debuff of her defense and stuff being lower. 68, and Affy leveled up. Oh, this might be perfect. Let me see here. I can hit two at least. Shining Lance! Hit uh, 29 and 27. It's not as much because Shining Lance, how it works, is it deals a far... It's like a cleave. It deals far less damage to the uh, the people on the sides. But I do it anyway because it hurts. And I really like that. I like causing injuries to multiple people. Hit their priestess for a 36. Not as much as I would like here. Hitting their priestess for a 42. She should be almost down. Let's see if Marokia can finish this. Saint Arrow! Fire! I missed. I, I suck. I suck a lot. Mage is attacking Cotton directly. Hits for a 17. Their priestess is healing herself. 81 HP restored. Their summoner is attacking Affy, normally, it's for a 39. Their mage attacked. My lancer missed. Their priestess heals their mage, for, uh, their sorceress for 78. The knight hits my lancer for 40. Affy is going to attack their sorcerer, hit for a 90. Let me see what my HP values are for my characters. Alright, I'm gonna have my Priestess cast Recovery upon my Lancer. 151 HP restored. My Knight is moving behind their Knight. I'm going to use Power Break. 59 HP plus the power is broken. She's much weaker now. Her damage is far reduced. My Lancer is gonna go after one of their Priestesses. Priestesses? Priestesses? I'm gonna go for... Oh, I don't think I should actually go for a Risky Strike. Screw it, I'm doing it anyway. Risky Strike. She had Shield and Guard. 73 damage, I hurt myself for a 30 because that's how Risky Strike works. Cotton's going to attack. Hits for a 32 on that Priestess that we just attacked. She's moving away. She's again curing herself. She cured for 80. Their Knight is attacking Affy. Hit for a 48. Their Priestess is attacking Affy. Hit for 53 and hurt her teammate for 20. The mage is attacking uh, my my lancer. Hit for a 79. Another mage attacked Affy. 19. Their knight attacked my knight for 20 and lowered her guard. Affy is surrounded. Let's fix this problem. We'll deal with it in a second. I want to see what everyone's HP values are. We're all pretty uh, healthy. I'm going to have my knight go after their priestess here, because I am tired of this priestess's bullshit, and all the other priestess's bullshit hit for 59. Let's go after the other priestess here. Go, Cotton. Attack! Hit her for a 40. Go, Jean. Attack! Hit for 118. She's dead. She's deader than dead. She's super dead. Casting recovery on John. 148 HP restored. Priestess levels up. Uh, Affy should be able to kill their sorceress here. Let me see about that. Attack! 59. She's living by 17 HP? Damn it. Uh, their mage attacked my knight for 19. The sorceress attacked Affy for 23. The sorceress is being healed. She was healed for 80. 
Their knight is attacking Affy, hit for a 47. Their mage is moving away from Affy, casting something. She hit for, uh, she missed. Their knight is attacking my knight from behind, hit for a 28. Alright. Alright. We can take out a couple of characters here. How do we want to, how do we want to distribute my damage? Well, I think I'm going to take out the priestess. I'm having my lancer move after the priestess. The priestess is down. I'm going to have Cotton move against... Let me see, actually. Affy, attack. Attack the sorceress. She's guarding. She got hit for a 43. That's not gonna... Cotton's not gonna be able to finish her. Let's just leave her for now. Let's go after one of their mages. Cotton's attacking a mage. Hit for a 26. My knight is going to attack their mage. Hit for a 39. What are my HP values? They're all fine, for the most part. Action, recovery, I'm going to cast this on... I'm gonna cast this on my knight. Healed her for 153. She should be back at max. Their knight's moving beside Cotton, attacking Cotton, hit her for 23, and pushed her back with the tackle. Their mage is attacking my knight, hit for a 76 with Water Sphere. Their knight is attacking Affy, hit for a 47. Their sorceress is attacking Affy, hit for a 42. Their mage is uh, attacking both my cleric and cotton, hit for 50 on the cleric, hit 56 on cotton. Obviously cleric means priestess, but sometimes I still slip up. That magician's got guard on her, maybe I should go after the other one still. Let me see, I'm gonna send my knight at their, at their mage. Attack. Hit her for a 61, she's done. Fran, go after the knight. Hit for a 76. I'll have Cotton just move over here and attack their knight, or attack their mage. Hit her for a 25. Priestess Marokia going for a recovery, using it on Affy. Got her for 151. Affy's attacking their sorceress again. I knocked her out. 69 hit. Their knight moving to attack Affy. Power break hit her for 49 and debuffed her. Their mage hit Cotton from behind for 14. Their other knight attacked uh, my lancer for 21. I'm just gonna have Affy wait this turn and not do anything. Cotton turning around to attack their mage. Hit 28. Marokia action recovery using it on Cotton. Cotton heals for 148. My knight moving in to attack their knight. Actually, no, no. Cancel that. My lancer is actually going to do something. My lancer is going to use risky thrust here. Attacking their knight and their mage. Hit for 87 on the knight. Got counterattack for 12. Hit the mage for 50. Alright, my knight is moving in to attack theirs. Hit her for an 85. Enemy turn, their mage moving away, casting something on Cotton. Hit her for a 61, it was Thunder Spear. She leveled up. The knight's attacking Affy, hit her for a 50. Their other knight's attacking my Lancer. Hit her for a 41 and pushed her back with the tackle. Just gonna have Affy attack normally on their knight. Hit her for a 25. Cotton attacking their knight. Hit her for a 37, got counted for 37, but Cotton leveled up. That was but, not what. Uh, I realize that can be hard to understand it sometimes. My knight hit their mage for a 56. Let's move my lancer in to finish that mage off. She's the one who can deal the most damage. Alright, 75 hit, the mage is dead. Who has left? Maroki has left. Maroki is using Saint Arrow on their knight. Hit her for a 66. Their knight's been defeated. Their remaining knight is attacking Affy again. Hit her for a 44. And leveled up. Good for you, knight. Good for you. We're gonna have Cotton go behind her. And attack. Cotton hit for a 38. We're gonna have my Lancer move up. I'm going to use another... Ah, oh, I can't use Risky Thrust. I was, I was having fun leveling that up. Well, getting it experience. 
I'm going to attack normally. Attack their knight, hit for a 72. Affy attacking normally on their knight, hit for a 29. Marokia using recovery. I'm gonna use it on my land circus, what the hell. 149. There's just no point, like, I'm just doing this for XP right now. My knight's going to attack my own Lancer. Hit for a 49. Look, I want experience. And their knight missed on their turn. My knight's going to attack Affy now. Hit her for a 55 and leveled up. Yeah! The best. Um, having Affy attack their knight. Hit for a 27. Having my Lancer attack their knight. Hit for a 70. I'm gonna just have Marokia move up and attack real fast against one of my teammates just to gain some XP. Alright, Khan attacking their knight from behind. This should finish it. Hit for a 39. Their knight is defeated. Le uh, level completed. Turns to 23. Good turns have been 14. Alright, well, go screw yourself, game. I only got two stars. Damn it all. Alicia learned dexterity up. Alicia learned resistance up. Good for her. Let's look at my camp. Uh, if he's level 15, my Lancer is level 16. Have we talked about uh, fusions yet? So, I don't... I'm gathering all these heroes, but I don't know how to... I don't... I don't want to fuse, because I'm thinking like, Oh, well, if they're stronger, probably a better fusion, like more points going in. Um, then I'm like, oh, well, what if, what if I fuse more characters into them? Do I carry over those fusion points? Do I get a percentage of them? What happens? I have literally no idea. There's nothing really, like, uh, telling me about it. I don't, I don't know what to do. I don't know what to do. And me being me, that just means I'm just not going to do anything for the most part. Because that's what I do. Great. <laughs> Let's see if anyone can make a class change, even though I really, really doubt it. Other than Cotton, who can turn into a Lancer, but I don't want her to right now. Oh. Let's see about my sub-characters. Can any of them do anything? Maybe? Possibly? Does not look like it. Fran, can you maybe do something? Nope. Alright, no one can level, uh, change class. I'll just save the game here. Do I want to keep going? Let me see what the time is. 17 minutes, whatever.